Hi, I'm Raquel Stetcher from Out of the Past, and I'm at the 2016 PCM Classic Film Festival on the red carpet. So I just wanted to ask, um, what's one film that always makes you cry or moves you? Ooh. And I just thought of that because of the theme of this year is moving pictures, which I think yes. is a really great theme. You know, I'm an easy crier, so <laughs> a lot of things make me cry, but Terms of Endearment is unbelievably sad and touching and well, I guarantee you cry, no question. Anyone that you're willing to admit you cry? Um, well, I admit that I cry. Also uh, sports movies, yeah. Rudy, Rocky. Um, Baseball movies. <laughs> Kill the dreams, etc. Cook it. Oh, yeah. Kill the dreams. Oh, because it's so emotional. It is, and I believed every bit of it. I believe that cornfield really was magic. So. <laughs> and what part of the festival this year are you really excited about? Is there one particular event or screening that you're just like really excited about? Yeah, okay. So I love the live experiences that you can't replicate anywhere else. So I'm very excited about the live symphony orchestra performing the score for The Passion of Joan of Arc. That's unmissable, so special. And then on the other side of the spectrum, I'm going to go to the Cinerama Dome for smell -O vision where we will have, there was a rehearsal today, and they were testing out the garlic scent and the aromas all across the board. So I got to check that out. So the, and they're piping that in. It's not like a little scratch or something. There are yeah. um, I don't know, like aromatic diffusers at the seats. They're installed. That's such a clever idea. That's and so cool. It was a big thing in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. I want to see Lassie. I, I got, I got to tell you, the animal <laughs> angle the I think real is Lassie. brilliant. So different. Yeah. That's great. Thank you so much. Just saw Men of Boys Town the other day, and you were so, I mean, you're a little rascal you know, in that, but you're so charming. I hate to say it, but I was, <laughs> my, that's my wife's favorite movie. Right? Is it really? Yeah. You, you stole um, Mickey Rooney's thunder in that oh. I really do think so. What he said to me, he said, will you stop it? You're, you're making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so, as a child actor, did you have um, did you have a lot of memories? Like, I know that story you have of John Ford saving cookies for you and, and the Grapes yeah. of Wrath. Do you have a lot of fond memories like that? Read my book. You know, yeah, my book, I should read your book. Actor, I got all these stories in the unconscious oh. actor, out of control and full command, and uh, uh, it's the history of my life and my teaching and all of that stuff. Uh, but there's so much, you know. There's mm -hmm. so much. Anything special you want to know? Well, you know what? You, Are you um, an actress? No, no. I'm just a blogger, and I'm I'm a fan of yours. So just a fan. <laughs> just a fan. Well, I'm delighted. <laughs> well, um, you're presenting Tea and Sympathy here. Tomorrow Do you have? At two o'clock. So um, Leonard Malton and I are going to talk about it afterwards. Which the very important film in my career was a pivotal Ooh. transitional film mm -hmm. between my early life as a child. That's wonderful. Yeah. And I know that you were in the film um, Assignment in Brittany. Oh my god. And I really want to watch that. I haven't gotten a copy of it yet. What is your memory of making that film? Well, I I was under contract at MGM and they put me in everything. I was working on three films at once. I was doing that, the human comedy, and Keeper the Flame all at once. And I had to do a, a French accent and I terrible at accents. I still am. And I had to do this lousy French accent. But I had a great time with Jean-Pierre Amont. He was the nicest man. You know the French actor? Mm -hmm. He's the lead. Now do you have uh, any memories of Susan Peters, the yeah, actress in that? Nice. I did several films with her. I did okay. Saw the Russian with her. I oh yeah. Her. So I, I knew Susan and she was a very lovely lady. That's wonderful. And now the theme of this year's festival is moving pictures. So I want to ask you, is there a film, either of yours or not of yours, that always makes you cry or just moves you? Grapes of Wrath. Yes, I cried very much watching that. <laughs> I, I played Winfield Joe, Henry Fonda's little brother, and, and uh, I still cry when I watch that scene when he leaves at the end and James and Pete Darwell says goodbye to him. Henry Fonda, to me, was like the best. So that film is, is hard to beat. Well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It really is. I wanted to ask, this year's um, theme for the festival is moving pictures. Right. Is there one particular picture that always makes you cry or just really moves you? Dumbo. Dumbo? Every and why time. is that? <laughs> why is that? Because it, it, it breaks my heart every single time. Dumbo is visiting his mother who's been caged and locked up. And uh, that tear comes into Dumbo's eyes. It just, it just gets me every time. Now, 
know, you do a lot of really wonderful interviews here at the festival. Which ones are you looking forward to this year? Well, my main interview, I'm doing several. Daryl Hickman and I are going to talk tomorrow after tea and sympathy. I'm going to talk to Eva Marie Saint before the Russians are coming, the Russians are coming. Rita Moreno before the King and I. Uh, oh, I got you. I'm probably forgetting something. And then for an hour, I'm going to sit for an hour with Gina Lola Bridges at Club TCM on Sunday, and that'll be pretty exciting. How, how did you prepare for that interview? I'm still preparing. <laughs> Congratulations on the documentary. It was well, wonderful. I to work on that for you to yes, and I have a love of books and Christmas research. So the fact that you year. made that into Knowing a wonderful this career is a fantastic. Who was your That'll favorite book to work on? City Hall. Yes, you did a lot of research. I remember on the clothing, correct? Everything. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Now you're introducing um, King of Kings? Yes. Yes, and it was very controversial at the time when it was released, but the narrative of it has changed over time. Why do you think that is? Well, I did a little bit of investigation to find out. I went to my Facebook friends, because of course they know everything, right? But they were able to come up with a lot of reasons. You know, it wasn't about morals that the church didn't like it. They gave it a special, an SC rating, which is special justification, because they thought theologically that so that was their concern. And, and, and uh, I think there was one point in the film where I think some Jesus says to punch his high letter somebody that it's about maturity. And they speak back to him and say, Well, people have different feelings about the truth. See, that would be a major problem because faith is an essential the mind to things that we can't understand. Does it really have anything to do with the feelings on the face of it? So I can see where that might have been a problem. No, I know, I know. That's great. Um, so the theme of this year's festival is moving pictures. Is there a film that always makes you cry or really just just moves you? Brian song. Oh yeah. Bring a cart. Brian song. Song of Bernadette moves me deeply. That's a movie that influenced me a lot about how this story was told. And so is Trouble with Angels, but they're not showing me. Oh. They forgot to ask me. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful festival. Thank you. Thank you. Um, at last year's festival, The Apartment was probably one of the number one films everyone wanted to see. So many of us are big fans of your father. My Sister Eileen is a lesser known film. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, it was really interesting. It was actually, I, I was just joking with somebody earlier, it's probably the only film of his I hadn't seen. Okay. So I had to do like a crash course on My Sister Eileen when I found out that was the film. It's a terrific film. Um, it, it was done, and an interesting fact, it was done the same year as Mr. Roberts. It was done just after Mr. Roberts. So my father had just finished giving a performance that he was about to win the Academy Award for when he did My Sister Eileen and didn't know it yet. Which is kind of interesting if you think about it. Um, but it's one of those, you know, those feel-good 50s films. And we're here for that Hollywood moment here. You know, that's you know, it's success against all adversity. And, you know, you have the two wonderful sisters, you know, mar marvelously bipolar characters. Bipolar. Bar Marvelously polar characters, what I meant to say. <laughs> um, you need that in films. You always need like opposite characters because they play against each other. Exactly. Right. And, and then, but then at the same time, you've got Bob Fosse's choreography and Janet Lee dancing to it. Who knew? Right. It's, uh, it's you know, it, it really is pretty wild. Um, a marvelous script by, by uh, and here's another interesting fact about it, by um, um, uh, uh, Richard Quine and Blake Edwards. So that was the first film my father and Blake Edwards ever did together, even though he was only a writer on it. Only uh, a writer on it. He was the co-writer along with, with Dick Wine, one of the great guys too, Dick Wine. Um, and, and so, boom. Six films after that, you know, they did together, I believe, including one with, with, with yours truly. That's life. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the uh, theme of this year's festival is moving pictures. Is there a movie that always makes you cry? Or moves you. I mean, I cry when Lassie comes home. So 
you know, it's, uh, you, uh, you're asking the wrong guy if you're moving, it always makes you cry. It's, That's you know, a good answer, though. I, 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 I cried at Robocop, okay? So it's, 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 it's I'm, the, I'm the wrong person, you know, for that. Oh, here comes the here comes Gina Logan Bridget is coming. <laughs> Rock Hudson. Human being. Very nice. I did two well, moves. Well, thanks for stopping by and having a good time. Come September oh, and uh, yeah. straight uh, bed bedfellows. Bed yes. Oh, that's wonderful. And I know that. Very nice man. Very nice man. I had a good time. Yeah. He was fantastic and uh, oh, yeah, I'm uh, here. full of. Uh, and you're an actress, but you're also a sculptor and you do photography. Is there one in particular you love the most? No words, no words. I, in the world, no. Um, we do all that. We also give it to the Life 45 on the moon. And uh, we I uh, 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 did also a lot of drawings. So I can. You're very creative, yeah. Now, what's your secret for uh, for staying so beautiful? What's your secret? Bella. Is that uh, you, you must love what you do. And I like to work because then I feel alive. Without doing nothing, I feel dead.